Morning guys, just thought I'd come on quickly this morning and do a quick video before I pop out. Uh, you'll see that I've titled it Reduce, Reuse, Recycle. Now that's something I came across quite a lot when I first started to Google search plastic free alternatives. So there's the three R's, there's five R's as well because there's two further ones as well which is rot and refuse. So reduce, um, if we're looking to reduce kind of plastics in our home, for example, we can find alternatives for like, for example, the toothbrush, um, it's popping from a plastic to a bamboo toothbrush. Um, reduce, reuse, so reusing, we could be using like margarine tubs, for example, washing them out and using them as um, kind of containers for, for, for sandwiches, things like that. Um, the other two, rot, uh, is quite self-explanatory as well because that's going to be for composting. Refuse, so we can refuse that plastic straw that we're offered in some of the chains and just drink out the cup without a straw. And the last one is recycle and that's really where I wanted to touch upon today. Um, as we're saying, it's the start of a journey, we're all on this journey. A lot of us will already do recycling, curbside recycling for example. Uh, at the moment at home, I can do cardboard, I can do glass, I can do tin and a small amount of plastic. Now the only plastic I can currently do at the moment is plastic bottles. So that can be squash bottles, milk bottles, pop bottles, it can be cleaning product um, bottles. As long as the lid and the triggers are removed, um, then I can put that into my recycling. But that's all that they offer on the curbside um, for plastic. Now, um, that's not a lot really, is it? And that, that's where I kind of started to think about other things that I can do for recycling. Um, looked for alternatives for all of those that I mentioned, and I will go into that in another video that I'll do. Um, alternatives for, for plastic, for shampoos and milk and stuff like that. Um, but today I just wanted to touch on another way that we can all get started with recycling a little bit more than what we do. So I came across a company called TerraCycle. Now I came across those when I was looking for a way of find out if there's anything I could do with my contact lenses because I wear daily contact lenses. They come in little um, pods um, and each one is plastic and I'm throwing that way every day. So TerraCycle is a company that I came across. Um, they are really passionate about trying to recycle as much as you can. There are kind of boxes that you can purchase from them that will recycle a huge range of different plastics um, and different items. Um, but there are some free recycling programs that they offer as well. And one of those was to recycle my contact lens cases. So that's what I've done. I need to get three kilos in weight of them before I can send them off. Um, or I can send them to some independent places. So some opticians on the high street will do that as well. But I've currently got a shoebox. So I'm just collecting them in. And uh, surprising, I've nearly filled a shoebox in, what, just over six months. So it is surprising how much you get through. Now, another thing with TerraCycle is the good old crisp packets. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, TerraCycle do offer uh, a recycling program for their crisp packets. So all you need to do um, is look on the website, find somewhere local in your area that does it. I couldn't find anywhere in my area that did it. So I actually registered myself as a local uh, location point. So people can come into my shop seven days a week. They can come in with the outers. They can come in with just the crisp packets. It doesn't have to be walkers. It can be any of them. You just bring them in and I shall package them up and send them off. Now, they're sent off in weights. Uh, I can send off one parcel at a time. And for every kilo in weight, it's equivalent to 200 points. Now, those points build up. So, for example, a thousand points is equivalent to ten pounds for charity. Now, we've set our charity up to be the Marine Conservation Society, which I did mention in my first video, um, and that's a charity that we've set it up for. So, currently, I reckon that we've sent off equivalent of three stone in weight just of crisp packets alone. Now, not only do they do crisp packets and um, contact lens cases they also do like the pringles tubs they do um, cat food dog food pouches skincare 
there's a whole range of different things. So at the moment, I'm just kind of concentrating on those two, um, just finding somewhere or a kind of a functional way of trying to save other things as well. Now, um, that's pretty much all I wanted to quickly talk about this morning. I'm just thinking that with recycling, it's something that we can all do straight away uh, whilst we're finding alternatives for other products. So what I wanted to do on the next video was to go into a bit more detail about some of the alternatives that I've come across in my search since last year um, and that I've kind of started to have on Lindsay's Eco Shop. So Lindsay's Eco Shop started because I was struggling to find things like um, when I was doing my Google searches for plastic free alternatives, it was coming up with like toothbrushes, shampoo bars, things like that. And they weren't so easy to find um, in a small village or a small town like that we're in. Uh, so I started to look to see if I could find them uh, so that people could come to me uh, and purchase them from myself so that it's a little bit easier for people to find them on the high street rather than having to order online or travel distances. So that's what I'm going to go through on my next video. So again, thank you very much for viewing today and thank you to everybody who watched the first video. If there is anything you'd like me to cover off in more detail, then please do get in touch. You can like, comment, don't forget to subscribe as well so that you can hit the notification button so that every time I upload a video, it will come up in your YouTube channel. Uh, but yeah, thanks. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know that I'm doing okay. If there's anything you want me to cover, I'll go into more detail. Um, I'm really excited because I'm going off shopping this afternoon to go and hopefully start buying kind of things from bulk dispensers. So flour, sugar, different things like that in my own containers to have a look at um, trying to find alternatives for, for kind of plastic food wrappers. But thank you very much for joining me again today, guys, and uh, speak to you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.